Welcome to our channel, The Big King Family. Don't touch that at all. No matter if it turn off, Tay Tay. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Um, welcome to those who help, who are new to our channel. And um, welcome back to all of our subscribers that we have already had um, this is a grocery haul that we um, went out and we did for this week for the week of November I think it was like October 31st through November the 6th no no October the no nope. November the 1st through um, I don't know I, I really don't know the I'm gonna say the first week of November this is for the first week of November because today is November the 7th. Today is November the 7th, okay? And we went out today for our weekly grocery haul. We normally don't go to the store weekly. We normally try to go monthly, get quite a bit of stuff, pretty much everything we normally use every month. But now we're starting to eat a different way, just low carb, low sugar, low sodium. Not, not no carb, no sugar, but you know, just low carb, low sugar, low sodium. We're just really trying to make better, we're just trying to make better um, decisions on what we eat. Okay, so now we're gonna get right on into the haul. Stop doing the book. First, we have our drinks, okay? We got this six pack of Propel water. It's kiwi strawberry, okay? Then we got these zero sugar Kool-Aid jammers. It comes with 10. And now all of these drinks are supposed to last us for the whole week. We got some of these. Do you know what each serving of these is only eight grams of sugar? So six, only six grams of sugar per serving. And uh, you can have eight fluid ounces per serving. So uh, even if we did two, it still would be 12 grams of sugar. It's still pretty heavy, but it's lighter than what we normally have. We normally are soda pop drinkers, and you know those things have about 30 to 40 sugars per can. So they're very heavy on the sugar. So this is a lighter option for us. <laughs> so and then we have two cans of the dough pineapple juice. What we do, we mix this with something, and then we drink it. I, I forgot how we do those little drinks. But, you know, we're going to drink all that up for this week, plus a case of water. Alrighty, those are our drinks. Alrighty, so I'm back to you with uh, everything that we have for our dinners for the week. I actually did a weekly meal plan, and uh, I'm going to show it to you right here. This are, these are all the meals that we will be having for the week. Okay, so... I made up seven meals. Uh, that's far as I'm going to go for right now. I would love to be able to do monthly meal planning. But uh, weekly right now is what I'm going to start with. And I've heard from several bloggers and bloggers or people who come on YouTube. is to start with what you already have in your deep freezer. So we already have quite a bit of stuff in our deep freezer cabinet and cabinet. So I just went from there with how I'm going to do the meals for this, for this week. Okay, so I'm going to get right into it. Got the Rotel, and I got this Vavita. The Vavita right here, it is for what we call Rotel dip. And I'm gonna put uh, ground turkey meat in it. I'm gonna fry up the ground turkey meat, and I'm gonna put it into the Vavita cheese. And the Vavita cheese will probably already be melted, blah, 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 and you put the Rotel in there. And then we're gonna have it with these chips. I got two bags of these. Oh, the lighting. Two bags of these uh, sea salt, organic, you know, these tortilla chips, okay? And we, I got two big bags of them, so we might not go through all that. So what I did was go ahead and get a jar of salsa to finish up the chips with, okay? Then, you know, on Friday, we have handy dandy pizza night. So we'll do all three of these pizzas. And on this cheese pizza right here, I went ahead and I had got some of these. 
I went to Myers, by the way, but it should be in the title that I went to Myers to get this weekly grocery haul. I'm going to put some of this on top of the cheese pizza. So that's what I'm going to do. All righty. So, and as you can see, we got our field. That's my, my Pepsi. And then it's caffeine-free Diet Pepsi. I feel it's almost better without having the caffeine in there. And I normally drink them at night. So it, it's good for me not to have that caffeine in there. I got plenty of veggies, plenty of veggies. We're eating way more veggies, you know. Definitely eating way more veggies. Okay, so I got the chicken wings. I am gonna fry these. But I'm gonna use extra virgin olive oil. I am going to fry them. I went ahead and I bought, I bought the all-purpose flour. It went but a dollar. I know and it's bleach and everything. Probably pretty darn terrible. Man. The carbs in here is 23 grams, you know, per serving. But a fourth of a cup, I don't even think I'm going to use a fourth of a cup in order to even roll the chicken wings in and fry them. I'm just going to do that for now. I looked at the almond flour this evening and it blew, it just blew me. $10 and $15 a bag. So I'm going to go to Sam's Club and try to take advantage of that huge bag that, um, of that huge bag that they have in Sam's Club. I'm just looking at him tearing up some. I'm going I'm to I'm go with you. Okay, moving on. I got the smoked Gouda cheese. Some of this. And I'm going to put it. What's the focus in? Okay. And I'm going to put it on to a sandwich. And we're going to make sandwiches out of these. I got two packs of them. Out of these um, egg McMuffins right here. I'm going to make sandwiches out of them. Um, as you can see, um, if you go back to my dinners, uh, one dinner was a breakfast sandwich. And so we're going to have the Gouda cheese. It's going to be on here. We're going to have it with some eggs. I ended up getting three dozens of eggs, okay? But one dozen is not for over here, really. It's for over here. But I will show all that in just a second. So we're going to have the egg on there. We're going to have, um, have it on Egg McMuffin with the Gouda cheese. I bought these avocados it's four in here they were on sale for for three dollars and 99 cent which was a great deal because they had them also on sale the single ones three for five dollars which would have made them a dollar and 65 each and i got four of them for 3.99 so i thought that was the bigger better deal but i'm gonna chop those up put them in the egg and make the egg over hard and then put it on the on the um egg McMuffin and then melt some gouda over the top of that. Um, we're going for the Starbucks sandwich. Uh, that Starbucks sandwich that they have. I can't think of the name of it, but I'm gonna try to have it up here. Um, I'll try to look that up and see what we're trying to uh, you know copy or whatever. Because my my daughter Tiffany, she really loves that sandwich at Starbucks, and she made it one time for us, and I loved it. So from now on, now I'm just making that a dinner. It's kind of like breakfast, but I'm gonna do that as a dinner. Okay. So we do have this light Italian dressing, okay. And what I'm gonna do with that is, well, we talked about what we're gonna do with the rotel, is put it on this pasta. And this is uh, we have seen a dietitian. Um, Ducey has, which is my son. He's overweight and he's dealing with um, pre-diabetes, but he's not pre-diabetic anymore and he's already lost four pounds. Just by us making better decisions. What if we just went full blown with this thing? That would be great. But he's um, trying to get in a little bit more exercise and he's eating a lot better. He's moving around more and everything. So uh, we jumped on board, my husband and the whole family, we just jumped on board and we're gonna all be eating like this. So the Italian dressing, we're gonna put on this um, pasta. Okay, we're gonna put that on that pasta. We're gonna also put some Merkel Whip on there. Okay, I'm going for like a pasta salad. You know, you can eat this cold. Tonight I went to Bible study and some lady had made this and it was delicious. It was like totally delicious. So it was the noodles. It had the Italian dressing and the Miracle Whip on there. Okay. And then it had some peas in there. So I got some frozen peas to put in there. It had the peas in there. And then it had chopped peppers in there. The green and the red. But I'm going to go ahead and chop the... Um, the white ones up also i might not even chop these up i might saute these and then let them cool down and then put them into the pasta salad so uh and then i did get 
three bags of broccoli, but only one bag I'm going to probably kind of chop down and put into that pasta salad. So it's going to be the broccoli, the peppers, the peas. So a lot of vegetables in there. Oh, I forgot. I got this one bag of shredded cheese to go in there. You don't melt it or nothing. You're supposed to eat this, this pasta salad cold. And then you're going to put the Italian dressing, the Miracle Whip, and the pasta in there. So that's one dinner for us also. So I got that. Then I got some butter. Uh, we just like to keep butter frozen, you know, uh, we like to keep butter frozen um, up in the deep freezer. And plus, uh, Thanksgiving is coming up and my daughter Tippy, she cooks, she cooks from scratch. Sweet potato pies, pound cakes, cheesecakes, you name it, she cooks from scratch. So she will be uh, gifting us with her, her gift of baking and Thanksgiving. So um, I'm just starting to pick up butter just to kind of make sure we have that type of stuff on hand. And during that time, it would definitely go be off the diet, you know. So I got this soy sauce, reduced sodium. Well, come on now, give me a little light. Reduced sodium, we got that, okay. And what's gonna go with this? Okay, I've told you about the nachos, like I'm gonna be doing one night. The breakfast sandwich I'm gonna be doing one night. We're gonna have pizza night. We're gonna have the cold pasta salad one night. And this night we will have soy sauce. It's called. It's called sweet honey salmon. So it's soy sauce honey, and it's one more item that we already have that you're gonna mix it up and you're gonna put it on salmon. So we got two packs. We got two of these, two big packs of this salmon right here. I'm gonna chop it up and I'm gonna put the the honey and the soy sauce on there. Okay, and something else goes in there. I'm going to uh, have it up on the screen, and you're going to glaze that salmon with it, and you're going to bake that salmon, and it should be very good. And I'm going to season the salmon very well. Um, normally, when I make my salmon, a lot of times I will put brown sugar, uh, brown sugar in. That's about it, brown sugar and butter, and pour it over that. But I'm trying to find, this may be halfway healthier, a little bit better of an option in order to make some sweet salmon. I don't know, but that's how I'm going to do that. We're also going to have that night, we're going to have... We're gonna have roasted potatoes. Roasted potatoes, okay. I got two bags over here of potatoes again on another night. We're gonna have roasted potatoes and two bags of these broccoli right here. Two bags of these will be going with that. So we're gonna have honey, uh, sore honey, glazed um, salmon, broccoli, and roasted potatoes on another night, okay. So, um, the chicken, I was talking about the chicken earlier, and I bought the flour to go ahead and roll it in and just season the chicken up. But I also bought these two cabbages. I'm gonna do the two cabbages, some fried chicken, and some Jiffy cornbread. We already have Jiffy right here at the house. And as you know, I did buy three things of eggs to go with that meal, okay? So I think I went through all the meals. Yes, I went through the pizza. The nacho night, the breakfast burrito night, the cold pasta salad, the salmon, the chicken. And it was one more thing that I almost forgot, which is a roast. I'm going to do a roast one day. And I, that's why I got two bags of potatoes. Because one night I'm going to do roasted potatoes with that roast. And I'm going to do just, uh, I'm just going to saute some of these mixed frozen vegetables. I'm going to saute them. Okay, saute vegetables. With roasted potatoes. But I should have did a starch. I should have did a starch with the roast. Like, uh, I can't think of what to do with it. Um, mac and cheese or rice. But I would do potatoes and then the mixed vegetables with the roast. And I already have a roast in my deep freezer. So lots of these components that goes with this meals I already have. I already have turkey bacon. I already have ground turkey. I already have um, a roast in the deep freezer. So, you know, a lot of the meat I already have, praise God. Now, like when you got out of there, she going to do it tonight. Okay, so now, last but not least, I'm going to show you all the snacks that I got for us for the week. Okay, and I'm back. I'm over here by the sink now because everything else is all cluttered up. But I'm going to put these groceries away as soon as I show you the snacks that we got. Okay, I got these baked chips. 18 come in them, you know. These snacks are only to last us for about the week, so... I got these baked, these baked chips, you know. So I think we'll really enjoy those. Nobody's gonna really want the pretzels but me, but I will eat them. And as I told you, I got three things of eggs. Three things of eggs. Um, one thing of egg is gonna be um, 
um, to go with the breakfast sandwiches. Another thing of eggs is just for baking for Thanksgiving, so I know we're gonna need them. And this thing of eggs, I am doing some deviled eggs this week, but the deviled eggs are gonna be just for a snack, so people can pop in and out of the refrigerator and grab them as they want to throughout the day. I don't know what day I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do them for a snack. These are a snack for us that so you can grab throughout the day. I got some oranges that we can snack on. Just grab it whenever you're hungry. I actually got two bags of these shrimp, shrimps. And then what we do, we just put a little bit of water, a little bit of butter. You see, they're already cooked, so we just pretty much warm them up. But we, we kind of bring them up to a boil, stop them, and go ahead and eat them like that. Okay? I found, um, these are for my daughter, Tippy. She's going to eat these. She's a lot smaller than everybody else in the house, so she pretty much kind of can eat what she want, but she's definitely going to eat the dinners that we eat. So this is a snack that she picked up. She really liked these. Kellogg's pastry crisps with the with the strawberry on the middle. She really likes that. Okay. I got two things of these Simply uh, Go-Gurts. One, two. I got two of those, you know. Um, they're only eight grams of sugar per stick. So, you know, I kind of really like those go -Gurts. I do not like yogurt. I do not like Greek yogurt, but I will eat these go -Gurts. And they say they're also good frozen, but I've never actually done that. Okay. These are for me. Mm -hmm. Do the bugs in here helping me as usual. These are for me. These are healthy choice um, meals right here. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. They were delicious. The last one I had, I let my daughter have it. But before she ate it, she let me eat one ravioli out of it. And I, I really, really did like it. So I got two of these. And I don't think it's that bad on it. See, 500 sodium. You want to get, you don't want no more than three to 700 grams of sodium, you know, milligrams of sodium in each meal. So I will use this as a meal one day on a, on a no cook day or whatever. And then it's 29 carbs in it. But for each meal, I think you can have between 30. I mean, you can have between um, 40 to 65 grams of uh, carbohydrates. This is what the dietitian told me. This is for a normal person that's actually just eating kind of normally. But you will still be low because compared to all the the heavy and the the I mean I, the foods we were eating was just terrible. Hot Cheetos, soda pop drinking, and just it was so many things that had such heavy carbohydrates in it. This is nothing compared to what we normally eat. So and then the sugars are. About uh, 13, because I do count the included sugars, but I'm going to have to learn how to read these because I do know that total carbohydrates, you take away the dietary, the dietary fibers, so which it would be nothing but about 25 carbs in this. And if I'm using it as a meal, I can still eat an orange or something like and a yogurt because, you know, I probably, I probably can add with uh, 30 a, with a meal. Stop. Stop. He's only one and can keep up so much racket. Oh my lord. Sorry about that. But anyway, yep. These are for me and these are really good. Really good. I just would definitely recommend them. Okay. So next we got some of these break break stones, cottage cheese doubles, which they have um what they have is a little fruit in them and a little cottage cheese in them. Me and my daughter were the only two who eat these in the house. So we did get the peach kind. We probably got three peaches and we got like three pineapples. And these, we were using these for a snack. And we also got three other strawberry. Man, these are good. These are very, very good. My daughter, Tippy, she also got some shrimp fried rice. But these are, these are rough. Me and Juicy don't eat these. Look at that sodium in there, 850 grams of sodium in there. The carbohydrate is 63. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really want her to slide off of getting these. But if she just eat one for a whole week, um, I don't think I'll mind that. And last but not least, we'll put these right back over here. Okay. Last but not least, we found these for a dollar. And these are some Cracker Barrel Bites. Okay, so we got this one. They had the you no know, cheddar, cheddar and Gouda cheese in it with the pretzels. And this one has extra sharp and extra sharp white you know, with crackers in it. And that's with crackers also. 
I don't even know how to pronounce that cheese, but Cheddar Jack and Hervati or whatnot. And then I turned them over. Not too bad, you know. Sold them 320 for the whole pack, you know. Seven size, one package. 320 for the sodium, which is not bad at all. 12 grams of sodium. Uh, I'm going to say that's the best of the best. But then zero sugars. So, um, I plan on using these for snacks. But like I said, we're trying to just eat, make better, just better decisions. We're not all the way keto or nothing like that. We're not all the way no sugar, but we are eating lower uh, calorie foods. Let me go back to our snacks. We are eating slightly healthier and lower calorie foods and we're just going to continue to eat like this um i feel like it's a healthy way to lose weight i have actually lost eight uh, 11 pounds i've actually lost 11 pounds i started this journey at 230 set 30 236 or 37 and when i was weighed yesterday at the doctor i was 227 which is still not a real big difference i think it's about 11 pounds um 237 no 238 and now I'm 227, which is about 11 pounds lighter. I'm going to get on off of here because do the bug wants my attention. So just um, making, you don't have to just make. Sorry, you guys. Okay. So you don't have to just make, you don't have to make a huge turn around a whole 360 unless you want to, you know, because some people want to lose it quick lose it fast look great feel great you know ready to shake and bake but you know we're just slowly losing a few pounds here and a few pounds there and we have a long way to go so we're going to continue to make healthier and healthier food choices we just started last month one month ago and i've already lost 11 pounds and um Ducey has lost four pounds that we know of because we just checked him two weeks ago so he probably has lost a little bit more and my husband is definitely slimming up. We can just tell it all in his face and on the way his clothes are fitting. So, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Look what I got on my hip. Lord have mercy. He's going to fall. All righty. Have a great rest of the week. Love y'all. Bye. Nah.